I'm going to show you guys the rich text features of Fat Paint. Okay, start by adding a new text object. Here we have it. And we can edit the text. Make it a little bit bigger. The font size. You can also make it centered on the middle like this. Okay. And we can scale it up. The object. I'm going to go back to the text. And I want to make the text bold. And I want to split it in two lines. These in three lines. Piece and harmony like this. Okay, so let me see here. Flip to the page like this. And you can actually set different options for each letter here. You can set the color of the font and so on. this and let me just do it for the other letters as well might as well do it just to show you the point Also set the font size individually for each like this or perhaps even better like like this and we can go to content we can actually move it a little bit up like that so you can you, you edit the text either by just pressing on the content here and you can edit the text or as you, as you saw before I can just press and say edit text and I can also add new text objects also by just pressing here and then pressing on the position I want to add see so then I can write text here in a new object okay and go back here so what I can do now is I can add some effects here. I can add some shadow to this. Go here, new effect, shadow. And I can add a little shadow to it. Just to show you how it looks close by, I'm gonna make the canvas real big here. Because I'm gonna make it 80%. So this is actually 80% of the real size of the image. But it's hard to work on this big canvas, so I'm going to make it small for now. Like that. And, you know, I can change the effect just by selecting it here, or change, change the parameters. Or I can simply click on it and say here open the object panel then I'll have you know, both then I can have both the text options here and I'll have the the shadow options here let me see like that a little bit more that's it Okay, let's see how this will look on a t-shirt.
Get this guy there. Alright, it looks cool. I can see for a vanity t shirt as well. The price is twelve ninety five. We can even go for black color and we have to pick American Emperor here like that. Okay, let's go back to the editor. So this is a text object. And I can move it around, I can resize it, make it smaller. And I can even make rotate this in 3D by pressing here and a selection of the object will be created and I can you now rotate around like this. And then I can say here insert as a new object and deselect. I don't have my new object and the old one I can hide it. Don't need it anymore. Okay. Alright. But you know, let me go back here before this all this whole thing. Let me deselect this selection here. That's it. Actual size is this, but because we scaled the object, made it this big. Okay. If I want to change the font, I can uh, double click on it here and I can pick a different font. This looks pretty cool. I can also change the font by editing the text and then making a selection here. It's just better to do it by double clicking here and by say change font and color because then the font will be sized better when, when, when changing the fonts here. And I can pick here some other different fonts. The color to fancy. There's thousand fonts and one third of the fonts are free to use. See the fonts getting smaller and smaller. So I need to go back in here, edit the text and say here, font size, like that. Okay. And I can also here, if I want to make all the fonts just one single color. I just pick a color here and they will all become one single color. Okay. Um, let me see if there's something else I can do here. Yes. Here on the content, I can also, on P2, I can, you know, change a few other things. I can make the font thickness. I need to select text or that. See how I make it more thicker. I can change the letter spacing. Then I have to select and then change it. The letter spacing. And all this other stuff here. Okay. That's it for now. Enjoy.